one. Really good punch, I thought, from Vatsley. Got it well away from the edge of the penalty area. He's got the right to think a defender would clear that, hasn't he? Well, the goalkeeper has to be dominant if his defenders can't get to the ball. Portugal are a big side, so the goalkeeper clearly has that extra reach. He has to come and deal with it. But yeah, defenders can't always get to the ball first, and that's why the goalkeeper has to be on his toes. Anything around the six-yard box, you have to come and deal with it. There's Mario Rui. William Carvalho, and it ricochets through towards Ronaldo. Now, goalkeeper came there. Free kick has gone his way. You just wondered for a moment as Vatsley was struggling if he had got there first. Who helps out defensively. He stays around the halfway line helping out the centre half so the Portuguese fullbacks can step on and Fernandes in particular can break forward at will. Bernardo Silva just cutting inside gloriously again, just finding that space and it's driven in the end well wide by Ruben Neves and we know he can hit them from there. There's something of a surprise that he actually snatches at that opportunity. Maybe should have taken a touch before he, he took the shot on. A knock early on for Ronaldo. You can see the point he's making. He didn't much like the challenge there. And of course, defenders have to try and get to the ball first, and that's exactly what in behind that Czech defensive line. It all stems from getting that formation with, with Neves helping out in midfield. They can step forward and cause problems, the, the other two central midfielders. Got a few set piece options, Portugal, haven't they? When you consider who's out there, Bruno Fernandes is going to take the corner. Ronaldo makes a near post run. That's a good punch from Vatsley. Only as far as Bernardo Silva. William Carvalho to drag it back across, and in the end, it's fired just wide by Ruben Diaz. Yeah, it's a bit of unsure defending choice. David Zima has it. Bruno Fernandes to roll that through. Rafael Leao arriving. Coming in from that right-hand side to slide it home. Wonderful bit of recycling from Rafael Leao that made it. And in the end, it's a good finish, albeit... He's just carried on his run here. Ronaldo's going to go at them himself, though. Now he finds Bernardo Silva. Ricochets through. Vatsleek missed it. Czechia seemed to have dealt with that. Suddenly, they hadn't. He will not stop running and getting himself into goal-scoring positions. That's why he's had this career. Again, he's got that mentality that the next pass will find me and I will score eventually. And he's had to adapt, of course, as he's got older. William Carvalho. And again, Mario Rui for Bruno Fernandes. It's all about picking the moment. It's all about picking the pass, making the run. It's just perfection from Portugal and they do have their second goal well, I don't know how many times I've said it throughout this first half those attacking forward runs of Bruno Fernandes have caused problem after problem you've got the defenders back there can he keep his nerve here and give them real hope going into the second half it is sheer can he blazes over he throws away the lifeline Super clever turn inside, and what about the finish? That's Leek beaten again, and Portugal piling on the pain. Diogo Dallo cutting inside. Now they're getting involved in that near post bustle. He wins the header, and finally the drought is over for Diogo Jota. Arriving at the far post to score. Goal number four for Portugal. Nice, great reactions from Schotter, but you know, defensively, as that ball is played in, the Czech defensive line all just step up and make defensive errors. And if you do that in a game against most teams, certainly against Portugal, you, you're going to come unstuck. That's the nearly dropped that at the feet of Ronaldo. It's not been his night. Scoreline flatters Portugal, but they were comfortable winners here at the Fortuna Stadium in Prague and in the end it finishes here Czechia nil Portugal 4